Owning slaves is fun. Well, that is until you are said slave. What's worse, this ass face of an owner that you have can literally do anything he likes in this world. He can butcher entire families, murder people just for walking in his path. Take anything that he wants from anyone he wants. You are just one of his many toys. For you, there is no hope, no escape. There is an entire society of people who are high above us normal humans. These guys are humans too, but the government gives them the power and the permission to do whatever they like without any sort of repercussion. Hmm, does that sound familiar? This is a small, small part of the looming 1000 episode world that is One Piece. The secret to how all of this is even allowed to run in a comic book for young boys is probably what the actual One Piece is. But well, that is not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm trying here is to convince you that 1000 plus episodes are not enough. One Piece is not too long. Stay with me for a moment here. Let's say that you're an average human. And according to my research over an extended period of time, on an average, your age is 27 years. So tell me, are 27 years enough for you to explore the world you have lived in? Hypothetically, even if you ask your 27-year-old version whether you have explored the world to your fullest, how many of you will ever truly answer yes? There is a world out there that is not big just for the sake of being big. <laughs> but it's the size because it fits our plot so well. A bunch of ragtag pirates and whatever the fuck chopper is adventuring their way through the world don't need to be restricted to our definitions of how big a series should be. An entire world shouldn't be restricted to the limits of a series. Let me explain. One Piece is the perfect size because Luffy is the perfect idiot. Consider this, alright. You're on an island, you see a dinosaur. Yes, a real dinosaur. What do you do? If you're not well into dinosaurs or identify as a dinosaur or, or them, what you would do is run away. This moron swings himself onto the dinosaur's head to enjoy the fucking view. That's just the kind of character Luffy is. He wants to have fun in living his life. He wants to make the most of it. He doesn't necessarily want to live the longest, but the fullest, full, full, fuller. It kinda sounds wrong. But because Luffy wants to head first barge into anything curious and have an adventure, One Piece, like an actual world, becomes longer the more you explore it. <laughs> it is an actual world waiting for an idiot to explore it. Much like our world. It's not just about a pirate crew that wants to find a hidden treasure. It's also not just about the fights. Yes, they are amazing. But One Piece is about having fun and exploring the world around you. Or rather, having the freedom to do anything you want to do. It's not just Luffy though. What makes any world good or similar to the world that we are living in are the people living in it. The characters. What makes any story feel like the real world is the depth of the characters involved and the details in the world. One Piece gives you both. It fucking satisfies you on a different plane. <laughs> Let me give you an example. One of the main characters is Frankie. This speedo-wearing cyborg with a fetish for cola. I mean, come on, who isn't a speedo-wearing cyborg with a fetish for cola? But in one of the arcs, Frankie fights a man Called Senor Pink. Senior, senior, sen, senorita, sen, Mr. Pink. <laughs> As you can see, this guy, this is a little weird. I mean, well, still better than your mom, but weird nonetheless. Or so it would seem at first glance. But then we get his backstory. This man, a pirate, fell in love with this beautiful waitress and a liking blossomed into a full-fledged romance. And these two ended up marrying each other and having a kid. She hated pirates for obvious reasons. The pillaging, the murdering, and the robbery, and all other lovely activities. He hid the fact that he is a pirate and told her that he was a banker. I mean, what difference? But anyways, one day when he was out, well, pirating, pirating, for a few days, his child suddenly developed a high fever. Senor's wife tried to call him all night, tried to reach him at his bank, but to no use. Due to no help being available, the child succumbed to his illness and passed away. Senor Pink comes back to find his child dead. His wife thrashes out at him in rage and runs away from him. Sadly for her, she gets caught in a landslide and is admitted to a hospital. 
Senior Pink finds the love of his life terribly injured and what's worse in a vegetative state. She doesn't reply, she doesn't move no matter what he does. One day, while sitting next to his wife like all days, he gets the idea of wearing the pink bonnet his child used to wear. Miraculously, it worked. She smiled. The more he dressed like a child, the more she behaved like a human. From that day on, not a single day has gone by that this man didn't dress up like a baby. Obviously, people laughed. He didn't care. She was more important. This is one side character in One Piece. There are many, many more like him. This one side character had more definition to him than fucking Sakura. And she was the love interest of Naruto for the first half of a show called Naruto. I'm not trying to downplay Naruto here. It has its own amazing moments. But One Piece is on a different level of world building. There's obviously the usual shonen fights, ambition and comedy. But One Piece is so much more. One Piece is laughing over a bad photo. It's crying over a ship. It's being loyal to the point of losing limbs. It's making friends that feel more important than family. One Piece is life. Can you ever say that life is too long? Dogs. They work a lot. Especially my dog. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. It's just a small click for you, but can eventually help pay for my dog's therapy. He needs it. He needs it to cope from his immense workload.